What's up, tech fam? Wealth Investopia here, and today we're diving headfirst into something that just rocked the tech world. And maybe your portfolio. We're talking about a major AI breakthrough from, get this, China. Yeah, you heard that right. It's not OpenAI, not Google, not even Mac. A Chinese lab called DeepSeek just dropped a nuclear bomb of innovation in the AI space, and it's got everyone buzzing from Silicon Valley to Wall Street. This isn't some new meme coin or a random gadget. This is game-changing stuff, and it's already having a real-world impact. We saw it in the stock market and even crypto. The release of DeepSeek AI is a wake-up call for the United States. Think of it like this. We thought we were winning the AI race by a mile, but bam, DeepSeek just lapped us. And it's not just a slight lead. We're talking a leapfrog moment. One of the most respected names in venture capital, Mark Andreessen, called it one of the most amazing things he's ever seen. Pretty high praise. So, what is this tech that's making everyone lose their minds? It's a brand new, free, open-source AI model that just smokes some of the most powerful ones on the market. Now, this isn't some basic chatbot. DeepSeek AI can build entire video games even if it's using a coding language that it wasn't originally trained on. Seriously, imagine the possibilities. It can also analyze complex data like a super-powered detective and give you super-sharp answers. It can think in real time, adapting as new information comes in while giving you its logic. And get this, it can even scrape YouTube to analyze trends, potentially predicting the next viral sensation. Forget your crystal ball, this is the future. And the craziest part? U.S. tech giants are throwing billions at AI development, but DeepSeek did it for just $5.6 million. It's like they found a secret cheat code. Their model, DeepSeek R1, is up to 10x cheaper than OpenAI's while achieving almost the same performance and, in some instances, outperforming GPT-4 in wide-ranging tests. This is like going to the grocery store and getting the best steak for the price of hamburger meat. They beat Meta, OpenAI, and Anthropic in accuracy on a series of very complex tests. And it's open source, completely free, and anyone can access the code. Think of the impact. China has not only caught up with our AI, but did so with limited funding and access to key hardware. And because of those restrictions, they found clever workarounds. This is a huge game changer, folks. We're not just talking about a minor win. It throws into question everything we thought we knew about the dominance of U.S. AI. So how does this affect us? If the U.S. was supposed to be years ahead, what does this mean for tech stocks? For our economy? And where did this tech really come from? It is all so mysterious. And most importantly, how can it possibly make me rich? Don't worry, we're diving in. Let's start with the mystery. This lab, DeepSeek, is shrouded in secrecy. Chinese media reports point to a hedge fund as the birthplace, but unlike OpenAI or Anthropic with their detailed charters, we know very little about DeepSeek, the founder, and how they piece together the team and hardware, especially with the sanctions placed on China by the U.S. But what we do know is that they achieved this in only two months for $5.6 million. How did they gather all that raw talent, data, and build the hardware they needed? I'm just as curious as you are. But here's what sets DeepSeek apart. One word, chain of thought reasoning. It doesn't just spit out answers, it shows you how it got there. If you ask it to solve a math problem, it'll break it down, explain its steps, and then give you the solution. This transparency is critical, making it far more reliable for complex logical planning. Think of it as having a super smart tutor that doesn't just give you the answer, but teaches you the process. The models are much better at handling complex tasks than older models. This isn't just about speed, it's about understanding. This is a big deal, folks. DeepSeek's breakthrough isn't just about technology, it's a wake-up call. We need to be taking this seriously, investing in our own innovation, and playing to win. This is about our future, about who leads the next generation of technology. And you better believe I'm going to be tracking every step of this new AI world.
DeepSeek can actually show you how it reached a conclusion, step by step. Think of it like this. If ChatGPT just gives you the answer to a complex math problem, DeepSeek will actually show you each step of the equation. Huge advantage, right? Like showing your work in school, only this time it's for super-powered AI. So, how'd they do it? The secret sauce is efficiency. You see, the U.S. put strict semiconductor restrictions on China, limiting their access to top-of-the-line NVIDIA chips. But DeepSeek? They didn't let that stop them. They used the slightly less powerful H800 GPUs, but then they totally optimized their training process, squeezing every single bit of performance out of them. It's like building a super-fast car with an amazing engine, even if you don't have the most powerful parts. And the craziest part? DeepSeek isn't just keeping up. They've actually caught up in some areas, even surpassed the U.S. in the last six months. They're using incredible techniques like mixture of experts architecture and 8-bit float point training, which drastically reduces computational costs without losing stability. It's like finding a way to build a house with less material, but it's just as strong. The result? A model that's not only cheaper but also faster and more accurate in many benchmarks. They're even using a technique called distillation. They train a huge, powerful AI and then use that knowledge to boost a smaller one. It's like having a professional chef coach a beginner to become a star cook. Now here's where things get really interesting. Open source versus closed source AI. Open AI, with its closed source model, keeps its code locked away, which is a big bone of contention for some tech critics. DeepSeek, on the other hand, is open source. Their code is free for anyone to use, copy, and build upon. Think of it like open source software, like Linux versus the closed source operating systems like Windows. And the cost difference, get this. OpenAI charges $440 per million dollar tokens. DeepSeek's API, just 10 cents per million tokens. And just to clarify, tokens are like the building blocks of language. Each word and punctuation mark counts. That how are you is four tokens. This price difference is a huge deal. Why? Imagine a startup needing AI for customer service. If you're dealing with 10 million tokens monthly, you'd be spending $44 on OpenAI versus a mere $1 on DeepSeek. That's a 97% cost reduction. It's like going from a fancy steakhouse every night to a delicious home-cooked meal and saving money. American developers are already jumping ship and building on DeepSeek's platform. So, why should you care? This isn't just a tech story, it's a power shift story. For decades, the U.S. has been the undisputed tech leader, exporting innovation around the world. But what happens if China wins the AI battle? That's where this gets scary. The chip restrictions aim to keep the U.S. ahead. But what if they inadvertently did the opposite? If China succeeds in deploying AI at scale, they will have a crazy edge in everything from economics to military. They could optimize their economy, predict markets, and even outmaneuver global competitors. It's like a global game of chess and AI being the queen piece. And if investors lose confidence in the U.S.'s AI dominance, we could see a massive tech sell-off. Remember that $620 billion market loss in one day? Just over one news story? There has never been a day that had a bigger stock drop in the U.S. ever. Your 401k, your retirement savings, it all gets hit. So what's the takeaway? Diversification is key. I've talked about alternative assets like crypto, but consider blue-chip contemporary art. Yeah, I know, it sounds crazy. But listen, billionaires like Mark Andreessen, Paul Allen, and even Jeff Bezos are investing millions in art. In 2023, it was estimated the art and collectibles market was $2.2 trillion. So for the past few years, we've seen this massive surge in the stock market. We're talking rocket ships going straight to the moon. A lot of this has been fueled by the promise of AI, this idea that it's going to completely change the world as we know it. And specifically, a lot of people thought the U.S. was going to be the biggest winner because, well, let's be honest, they've been the big players in the game. So what's the lesson here? Well, I think it's pretty clear. Instead of this cutthroat, everybody-for-themselves race, we need countries to work together. 
This isn't about some AI arms race. It's about humanity. Sounds easier said than done coming from some guy on YouTube, right? I know, but we've got to think bigger. So here's where I think we're headed next. Forget all this software hype for a minute. The next big wave, the next thing pumping up the markets, it's not going to be about AI software alone. It's going to be about AI hardware. Think about it. We can only feed computers so much text and information, right? The next level is practical, physical data. I'm talking about robots, people. Actual robots out there doing things, learning by doing, building, creating. They're going to be the key to the next AI gold rush. This is going to be huge. We're entering a whole new frontier, one where we're not just thinking about lines of code, but about physical, real-world applications. It's going to be mind-blowing, and it's going to shift the way investors think. But hey, that's just my take on it. I'm super curious to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here, you know the drill. Subscribe. I'd love to see you back here next week. I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye. <music>